In our last video, we were in Mobile, Alabama, and we gave you a tour of the history of Mardi Gras at the museum and toured the town. And in this video, we are headed to Navarre, Florida, which is considered the panhandle of Florida. The panhandle? No, not that panhandle. So what is a panhandle? Well, on Google it says the word panhandle is used to refer a long, narrow projection of a larger territory that is not a peninsula. In particular, panhandle refers to the narrow portion of the state that tucks away from the main state. So we started our panhandle experience in Navarre, Florida. We're Matt and Tat. We're digital nomads and make money online. We just had a baby. We bought a 2017 Subaru Forester. We packed it tight. And now we're going on a road trip around the USA in search of a great place to raise a family. Come along with us on this adventure. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, people. Let's go to Navarre Beach. Let's go. Everybody, come on. <laughs> Follow me. All right, here we go. <sighs> Going up the hill. I will not give up. <laughs> yeah. It's a crab! It's Mr. Crab! Yay! <laughs> and we took a day trip over to Dustin, which is a popular tourist spot. So in Destin, we got some tacos and explored the area. There's a lot of different shops and things to look at. So we continued on and we were going to meet up with some friends in Acala, which is in the middle of Florida, but it was a long drive. So we decided to pick a middle place to stay for a few nights. And that happened to be Tallahassee, Florida. So we booked four nights at an Airbnb and to our big surprise, well, just keep watching and you'll see what happens. Where do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, you want to go there? Here's where he wants to go. So we stayed at this Airbnb with this beautiful organic edible garden and this was on my bucket list. I wanted a garden like this, but I didn't want to take care of it. So this was ideal for living in a place. And so if this guy was my neighbor, that would be amazing.
So Matt and I go exploring around the backyard more and we see a house being built right next door. We go on a family walk and we see a for rent sign right in front of those houses. We call up the number and set up a showing and everything was still under construction, but we loved the plans of the layout of the house. So we signed the contract and now we have a one year lease for the entire duplex. So it's a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom in front and a two bedroom, two and a half bathroom in the back. And our lease starts in a few months, so we still have some time to travel. So we're gonna continue this trip, but we have a place to come back to. And so far we love Tallahassee, so we'll just see how it goes in terms of a place to raise a family, but everything we've been hearing so far has been great. So we're just gonna go with it, you know, just kind of going on faith that this is gonna be great for us. Part of the bike trail. So we're just going for a little stroll. We like to go on morning walks every morning because it's a good way to get your blood pumping, blood flowing, and get your muscles moving. Um, it's good for your joints as well. So I recommend it to all you guys. And now we're walking actually to Whole Foods. Our host actually asked to see if they have any donuts in Whole Foods. So we're gonna go check that out. For the record, we love donuts. First, I'll make sure the label's on the bottom so I don't put it upside down. Want to take off your sunglasses so they don't fog up? You're good to go. Oh yeah, hat backwards so you look kind of cool. Let's go. Ready? So what just happened? So we went to Whole Foods, totally skipped the bakery area. We we're like, nope, we're on a diet. We're not having any bread. And then we forgot that our host asked if there were any donuts there and what the situation was over there. So I feel bad now. <laughs> Mark's watching some basketball and there's a nice community garden right here and people are playing basketball. Pretty sweet. Alright, where are we going, Tatiana? Going to the coffee shop. The Cafe Espresso Shop. Tallahassee. Oh, right. Catalina Cafe.
that. What did you think of Tallahassee? We're here for four nights. It's very humid. <laughs> That's one thing I gotta say. And But overall, I like, I like the city. It kind of gives you the small city feel, which is nice, because it doesn't give you that big feel where everybody kind of like is in their own world in their head, all you know, focus on trying to make money all the time. The more so, they would just stop and have a nice conversation with you and just, you know, be friendly. So I really like that about this place. Um, I really like that it has kind of this vibe that's it's like this, uh, this, this kind of creative energy, artistic feel to it. I think that's really fun. Um, I think it all is also a good place to raise a family. You know, I think it's not too big of a city because I think big cities aren't that great of a place to raise families, in my opinion. And it's more of a small city. I think the population is just under 200,000, which is pretty decent sized. Yeah, so also one, one, one thing about this place is there's a lot of uh, college life here. During the, the time of the year where there's big games and stuff, the, this, the city really lights up. And you know, people come in from, from miles and miles, away, hundreds of miles away, just to see some college games. So it's real, that's pretty exciting about the city as well. So overall, I, I like this place. You know, I'll probably give it like a eight and a half. In a previous video, we made this chart, what we want. We want a place that's safe, has trees and nature, humidity, an international airport, an edible garden, short-term rental friendly, parks and trails and diversity and Tallahassee is checking off all of these boxes for us right now so we're excited to take on this new adventure for ourselves but in the meantime we're going to continue our travels we have a couple of months until our lease starts so if you liked this video give it a thumbs up you can also subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button and tap that notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.